What's up guys? So I got some positive feedback and it looks like you guys like the real estate deals. So I'm going to go ahead and do a second one. I did go through the comments and one of the funniest things was obviously um, I didn't really go into details about my background. So I did mention that my last investment, I put $90,000 down and a lot of people were trolling and it makes a lot of sense that, um, you know, getting a, a down payment is not easy. And if you follow this channel, I go through a bunch of ways where you can hopefully save money, learn how to invest to eventually get a down payment. But anyways, oh, by the way, happy 420. <laughs> anyways, um, the reason I'm gonna do this video, this is actually my first real estate deal that I bought. And here's the best part. I put no money down. Now there's a definite, um, reason why there was no money down because um, it's pretty uh, actually comical, but I'll go ahead and go into it. So I did an FHA loan to buy this property and we can go ahead and go through the, the history. So I bought this property. Let's, let's go through it and it'll show us. So I, so this is the best part. This is why you don't buy an overpriced markets. So whoever this guy was in July of 06 paid 720. And then four years later, I paid 515 and I actually overpaid. This was my first property I ever purchased and I didn't do the best job, but like I said, and I'll put on this title, this house literally cost me zero and I put zero money down. And I know that the last deal I did was really disheartening because obviously if you're renting and if you're doing deals on big properties, you need to have down payment. But let's go through this story. So the reason I didn't have to put any money down is I did something called an FHA loan which back in the day, it was 3% down. But here's the deal, if you uh, had been listening to me, and this is why probably people are shocked that at 23, I had $90,000 to put down. I had my broker's license. Um, people don't realize that I graduated college when I was 20 years old, and I got my broker's license when I was 20 years old. So this is three years of me, not only just doing real estate deals, but I also uh, started a medical company. I, I was also working at a hospital and surgery center. So. Uh, the comment I got was, oh, he must have got money from his parents. And to be honest, that should be something that should never, ever you should think about because <clears throat> that's just a negative mindset. So I'm sure there's plenty of people that get money from their parents, but you should never focus on that. What you should focus on is, okay, well, what can I do to do deals even though I'm not getting money from you know so-and-so or whatever? Because you may not have parents that will give you money, but what I would argue is you can find investors. So anyways, back to this deal because this is a no money down deal. So anyways, I have my broker's license. So guess what? I represented myself on this deal. So I literally wrote a check to escrow and I believe it was like 18 or 19,000 after closing costs. And I got my broker commission back of 15 grand. So it was really three grand of closing fees or whatever, but if if there was no closing fees or, you know, what I could have done is I could have paid a, a higher percentage on my loan and then it really would have been a free house. Um, uh, what you can do is you can re uh, ask for a higher interest rate on your real estate loan. And then literally, um, if I had done that and maybe added like a half a percent or a percent to the loan, I would have had zero closing costs. But no matter what, it really just costed me $3,000. I wrote a check to escrow for 18 grand. I got uh, 15 grand back. So I'm in it for three grand and my mortgage was three grand a month. So guess what I did? And I mentioned this in the previous video, I immediately started renting rooms and in one month, 30 days, I had rented five of the six rooms and I was collecting $3,600 of rent. So I was living there rent free, making $600 of positive cash flow. And to this day, I haven't put a dime in this property. And what is it worth right now? Let me see. So I paid 515. You can find it right here, home value. <clears throat> According to Zillow, this is 822 grand. So it's not as good of a deal. I obviously paid a little more. If you go through my channel, uh, uh, my previous deal, I probably got more upside. But once again, this this property has been paying me anywhere from four four thousand to five thousand dollars of rent. That's why this Zillow estimate of 3,500 is BS. Um, I ha currently have a tenant that's paying 4,500 a month. Not as good as the previous deal, but I guess the moral of the story is obviously there's always going to be naysayers and there's always going to be an excuse, right? Like, oh, I can't do this because I don't have rich parents or I can't do that. And 
that's not the right mindset. What you need to focus on is small goals. And that's why I promote cryptocurrency. And if you haven't watched my previous video, I say stay away from real estate. I don't think real estate is good right now. I think it's totally overpriced. Um, what I recommend is for anyone too, and like I said, do not worry about deals that are $90,000. That's in the future. What you can do is your first property you can buy if you're in the US and I'm sure in other countries too, they have these BS, you know, 3% down uh, loans. And obviously you're gonna pay a lot higher mortgage and a lot higher fees, but here's the deal. If you can find a property with enough bedrooms, this is a six bedroom, three bath, you should be able to cash flow it whether you live in there or you don't. So that's the name of the game. Um, and like I said, if you can do 3% down, that means your down payment hopefully can be 15 grand. If you go to cheaper areas in the US, for example, if you go to like Arizona, I'm sure you can get properties for under 200 grand or 100 grand. But no matter what, once again, um, you shouldn't worry about this stuff if you're have less than like a thousand dollars saved up or two thousand dollars saved up and another thing too i forgot to mention is that you know i graduated at the age of 20 so i had two years of pretty large tax returns where in w-2 income where the bank was willing to give me a loan so if you don't have this kind of stuff and like i said it, age really doesn't matter if you're 40 or 50 you can do it you can start today but the th way you start today is a um, add to your income. So if you are only making, for example, 2000 a month from your job, uh, it's going to be hard to qualify for a loan. So you do need to add either a second job or a side hustle. What I mentioned is I, I tutor on the side and teach tennis lessons. So um, definitely if you want to get into real estate and you want to buy a house or qualify for a house with no money down, you're going to need to show other sources of income. And unfortunately, being an independent contractor doesn't really help. So what I would recommend is actually having two W-2 jobs. So you work your full-time job and then you find maybe a weekend job. And once you get both of those W-2 incomes, and like I said, they usually want it for two years, but a year you might still be able to qualify. That's one thing you're going to need to do. The second thing is saving money and also learning how to make that money grow. And once again, that's why I preach cryptocurrency investments because I do feel like it's one of the best opportunities right now to invest. Um, if you go through the channel, I'm not just um, telling people to do cryptocurrency. And that's why actually I recommend Robinhood because uh, Robinhood allows you to also buy stocks and bonds. I do feel like you should have a diversified portfolio. And the best thing about Robinhood, unlike Coinbase and the other um, uh, brokerages is that there's no fees. So what I would do is if you want to do real estate investing and you have less than $500 saved up is I would first start with getting a Robinhood account and just making a commitment, whether it's $100, $200, $300 a month, you put into Robinhood and you start to buy, um, you know, some cryptocurrencies, some stocks. I also do recommend saving cash. So, um, if you, for example, want to invest, I would always say, at least in the beginning until you figure it out, maybe set aside $100 or something like that, uh, $200 cash. So if there's ever a dip in the price, you can buy more. But that's my recommendation. So um, if you want to get into a deal like this where you can buy a house with no money down, you're going to need good credit. You're still going to need some sort of saving and some sort of down payment money. And the easiest way to start is... And if you do have a chance, go to the uh, old video is basically li live frugally, live very humble. So um, just, you know, try not to go out a lot, order water when you go out, um, don't eat a lot of meals, just figure out ways to save money. And I'll probably just make another video on how to save money. But I would not worry about real estate investments. I know a lot of people are asking me, how do I get started in real estate? This is not the time to get into real estate. Trust me, I'm a real estate investor. I, I own quite a few properties and most of the properties I own are with other investors. So I know people are always like, oh, like you had your mom and dad help you. Um, unfortunately, I didn't, but I'll tell you, I had a better deal than my mom and dad because if the deal went bad and have to deal with the awkwardness I did find three different private investors two of them are uh, millennial uh, sorry baby boomers they're in their 60s and I actually found uh, and this kind of pays uh, pays to have like a good network of you know successful people but I did found, found find someone who was actually 21 who partnered with me to buy the house in Vegas so even though I bought my first house when I was 22 I mean I got this 
younger kid who I partnered with and I'm going to be doing more real estate deals. And he's, he was 21 when we bought the property together. So, um, the way to do it, like I said, not everyone um, is going to graduate college at the age of 20. Not everyone is going to land a high paying job. So the way you're going to do it is the way where most successful people come from is by hustling. And the way you hustle is you cut your expenses, you add a second or third job, you start to put aside some of your money. Cash is good. Um, depending on how your risk tolerance is, I would even go up to maybe storing 50% cash and then 50% investments. And like I said, if you haven't had a chance, get a Robin Hood, start buying stocks, buy, buy bonds, buy cryptocurrency, and learn how to invest, learn how to make your money work for you. And uh, in the future, uh, leave comments. I will probably try to make more videos about some of my other real estate deals as well. Um, I, I do want to partner with people and do real estate investments. So even if you're outside of the U.S., I would love to do international real estate. So, um, you know, keep stay in touch with me. Follow, follow this channel and uh, start to hustle. And maybe maybe I'll be your first investor. I, I mean, I'm open to investing in other markets. I'm not buying right now, and I probably won't buy for a while until prices prices cool down. Um, but I'm investing in crypto right now. I have some money in the stock market. I'm saving a lot of cash to buy real estate when prices drop again. And, you know, let's just end this with this story of this guy who bought the property before me. Look at this guy in 2006, which I would say right now we're in 2006. So in 2006, this guy paid 720. Four years later, I come by and I buy it for 515 and I overpaid. I probably should have paid like 450, 460. Um, but it was my first real estate deal. But like I said, what was really cool is I bought this house for $18,000 down. But like I said, they, the, uh, because I had my real estate license, I got $15,000 back and I never, ever paid $3,000, uh, for that mortgage because I rented all the rooms. And, uh, later on, I actually saved up a money and I refied it. So I actually now pay around 1900 a month for this property and I'm collecting about four and a half grand rent. So um, leave your comments. Uh, like I said, I try to do more of these videos. Unfortunately, I'm trying to keep it short, but I keep going over. So sorry about that, guys. Um, so like I said, um, let me know if there's anything else I can do. I hopefully you can enjoy this, but, uh, um, and, and I did mention in the future, I do want to do uh, a cryptocurrency coin that is backed on real estate, but I'll talk about that uh, another time. So have a happy 420, have a great Friday, and I'll talk to you guys soon.